Hello, friends. Welcome to another art class. Well, we're going to be doing something kind of similar to what we did last time. We are going to be reading another poem together and illustrating it. This time around, we're going to be reading one of my favorite funny poems. It's called Homework, Oh Homework. And it's by Jack Prilutsky. So let's do it. Homework, oh homework, I hate you, you stink. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. If only a bomb would explode you to bits. Oh homework, oh homework, you're giving me fits. I'd rather take baths with a man-eating shark or wrestle a lion alone in the dark, eat spinach and liver, pet 10 porcupines, than tackle the homework my teacher assigns. Homework, oh homework, you're last on my list. I simply can't see why you even exist. If you just disappeared, it would tickle me pink. Homework, oh homework, I hate you, you stink. <laughs> now, maybe some of you have felt that way about homework. I know I certainly have. Um, so yeah, just like last time, we're gonna be making an illustration. I wonder if you can guess ahead of time which part we're gonna be illustrating. We'll go ahead and grab that pencil and paper and let's do it. All right, here we go. Um, I just want to reiterate from last time, once you have done this, make sure that you take a picture of it and you email it to Mr. Blakely. Um, you can either do it with your built-in Chromebook uh, camera or have mom or dad take a picture of it with their cell phone and then just email it to me. Just got to be able to see your work so that I can give you a grade. Also, if you haven't submitted last week's homework to me, you should do so ASAP so, we can, uh, so I can grade it. So here we go. Um, we're going to be drawing the, the uh, part of that last poem where he talked about uh, taking a bath with a man-eating shark. So, <laughs> first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a long straight line right across there. That's going to be the rim of our bathtub. We're going to make a curved line up here and a curved line up over there. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's a two eraser. See, now is it? Yeah, okay. So now, long straight line all the way across. We're going to curve up on that end. We're going to curve up on this end. This is the rim of our bathtub. Let's do another straight line. Okay. Now, come down. Over and back up like that. This is kind of an old fashioned bathtub with one of those old ones that has the feet on it. Because, I don't know, because they look cool. All right, next we need our uh, bather who is going to be bathing with the man eating shark. Um, first thing I'm going to do is actually draw his. Uh, this is his hairline on the side of his face. I'm be doing some just kind of fun hair like that. Eyebrows. And I'm going to have him be uh, snorkeling. So let's draw some of those kind of uh, goggles that snorkelers wear. Inside, really big. Eyeballs. He's really pretty. Yeah, he's pretty alarmed to be um, to be in the bathtub with a great white shark. There's that side, and this side I'm actually going to make a little bit longer because his snorkel has to go up through there. Speaking of his snorkel, let's do a curve like that, and then we're going to do a smaller curve. It goes up. And behind, back down, and like that. Awesome. All right, so that's kind of our snorkel guy. Let's draw our great white shark, or our man-eating shark, I should say. So we are going to go, let's go about there. Let me go up. Like that. 
Now, you might notice that I saved a little gap here because I wanna make this a bubble bath. So we're gonna make kind of some sudsy bubbles here. And when you draw bubbles like this, what you wanna do is you're gonna make some kind of curved lines, a lot of like kind of curves like this. Curve, 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 curve. Lots of these, okay? And this may not 100% look like a bubble bath yet, but you will see. All right, so now here's the key. Oh, I'm gonna do a couple bubbles also floating up in the air. And again, as with last time, guys, if this is too fast, pause it, catch up. I'm just, you know, trying to keep the length of these videos down a little bit um, so they're easier to watch for everybody. Now, here's the key to making bubbles in a bubble bath look realistic. You gotta make these little, you make these little kind of um, curves inside of them. And that's just the, the light reflecting off of them, but that will make them look more like real bubbles. Here's just kind of a, yeah. <laughs> I'm having a fun time drawing this. Um, you could make, you know, even like some, like a bubble down here. You know, however you want to do it, more or less. All right. And there you go. That's your, um, taking a bubble bath with a man-eating shark. If um, if you have access, just like last time, to markers, colored pencils, whatever, feel free to color this in. You know, the bathtub itself is it's white porcelain, so there's not a lot to do there, but you can color this boy's hair. Um, you could make him a girl if you wanted to. I mean, I just made him a boy because that's how I imagined the, um, it sounded like a boy, the voice in the poem sounded like a boy to me. Um, but there's no reason this couldn't be a girl, you know, instead of the spiky hair, you know, you draw some kind of long flowing hair, you know, make it look like you if you want to. Also, you know, I always say you can freestyle it. So like if you want to make the shark fin not like kind of a bluish gray, if you want to make it some other color, go, go wild, have fun with it. Um, again, once you finish this, you know, you can simply take it, hold it up like this. There's a camera right on your Chromebook, click a picture of it. Email that to me, cblakely at olpmn.org, or have mom and dad do it. They probably have my email or can find it. Um, but I really do need those um, in order to give you the grade, the credit for it. Well, cool. I hope this was fun. I had a good time. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.